All right, so I want you to write down example one and then A. All right, so we're going to talk about how to find our greatest common factors of um, the list of each of these numbers. All right, so we're going to start first with 28 and 40. So if I'm going to start with 28, I am going to need to think of all the numbers that I can think of that can multiply to 40, or to multiply to 28. Now, I want you to think way back when you first started learning how to write the factors of numbers, right? You would go 1 and then 28, okay? At least this is how I learned it. And then you would go, and so then you would have to go, okay, 2 and, and it, one of two things either happened. You either got to the middle and you didn't have enough room, so then you had to write real small and try to get them in, or you got them all written and then you had this huge gap here. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm going to show you a new way to list your factors, okay? It works well for me. I like it. It seems to work well for everyone else. If only they listened in the elementary school ages. You ready? All right, so here we go. We're going to do this in order. You ready? I've got 1 and 28. Okay? 1 and 28. So then I'm going to go to the next number. What's after 1? Two. 2. Does 2 go into 28? Yes. How many times? 14. So I'm going to go 2 and 14, just like that. Okay? What about 3? Is 28 divisible by 3? Now, how do you know? How do you know that without checking on the calculator? Anybody know the trick? No, you could use your brain. I can take the two numbers, two and eight, and I add them up. And if the number I get is divisible by three, then the whole thing is divisible by three. So two and eight get add up to be ten. Ten is not divisible by three, so twenty-eight is not divisible by three. All right, um, seventy-two. If I took the number 72, 7 and 2 get me 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so 72 is divisible by 3. Okay? Did you all have that? You all learned something today in my class. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so if 9 divisible by 3, all right, what about 4? Is 28 divisible by 4? Yes. Do you know how you know that without knowing your multiples of 4? If it's divisible by 2, and gives you an even number, then it's going to also be divisible by 4. Okay, but like 30. 30 is divisible by 2, but it's 2 and 15. 15 is not even, so 30 is not divisible by 4. Okay, I know all kinds of cool tricks. Okay, so 4 and what? 7. Okay, what about 5? It's divisible by 5? No, how do you know if 28 is divisible by 5 or not? Okay, so 30 is an even number. Has to end with a 5 or a 0, okay? What about 6? Do you know how to know if a number is divisible by 6 or not? No? It's got to be divisible by, by, by both 2 and 3. Got to be divisible by, divisible by both. This one's divisible by 2. It's not divisible by 3, so it's not divisible by 6. Okay? And then what about 7? Right, but I'm already back to 7, right? So if I've done these correctly, it should go down, and then when I hit this number, it should come back up. Does that make sense? So I don't have to worry about that huge gap like in between or whatever. All right, I'm very good with that. All right, so that's our that's our factors of 28. Now let's do 40. You ready? So I'm gonna come over to the side and I'm gonna do 40. You ready? First one is easy. It's one and 40. What about two? Two and 20. What about three? No, because four plus zero is four. Four is not divisible by three. Okay. What about four? Yes, because 2 gave us 20. 20 is divisible. 20 is even. So the whole thing would be divisible by 4. 4 and 10. What about 5? 5 and 8. Okay, what about 6? No, because there's no 3 here. What about 7? 
No, but what about eight? It's already there. So I've already, I've already made my, I've made my turn. All right, everybody cool with that? Yes, already. Okay. So now I am looking for my greatest common factor. So I'm going to look at my list, and I'm going to circle all the ones they have in common. You ready? I've got a one and a one. What else do I have? A two and a two. A four and a four. Does 40 have a seven? A 14 or 28? Now, why does then I, if I've checked the rest of these, why do I not have to go back and check the rest of these? Because if they're not in 28, it's not going back. Okay, so if I check the one that's got the smallest groups, then I'm going to be finished. Does that make sense? Okay, so I need the greatest common factor. Which of the ones that they have in common, one, two, and four, is my greatest common factor? Which one? Four. Okay, so that's my greatest common factor. I would say the greatest common factor is 28 and 40 is four. Fair enough? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's look at B. You ready? So jot down B. Let's see, 55. What are my factors of 55? 1 and 55. 2, 3. No. 4? No. 5? 5 and 11. No 6, no 7, no 8, no 9, no 10. We're, back. We're making our turn back to 11. Everybody agree with that? Okay. So now let's do 21. We start easy, 1 and 21, 2, 3. Yes, because 1 and 2 is 3. 3 is divisible by 3, so 21 is divisible by 3. How many? 7, 4, 5, 6, and then back, we've made our turn to come back to 7. All right, so let's look. Which ones do they have in common? They have a 1 and a 1. Is that all they have in common? Yes. yes. Okay, so we would say that our greatest common factor is what? One. Fair enough? Easy enough? So far so good? Okay. Let's look at C. You ready? Start with 15. For 15, I've got what? One in 15. No two, but what? Three. Three and five, and then no four, and then I'm good. Everybody agree? Okay. Now we look at 18. I got one and 18, two and nine, three and six, four, no, no four, no five. Okay? Six makes me around my corner again. All right, let's try 66. You ready? I get 1 and 66, 2 and 33, 3 and 22, no 4, no 5, 6, yes, because it's 2 and 36 and 11, no 7, 8, 9, or 10. So we're good. All right, so I'm looking for the ones that I have in common. Only this time it has to be common where? in all three of them. So we're looking at one and one and one, three and three and three, fives, no, fifteens, no. Do I have to worry about the fact that both of these over here have a six? No. No, because if it's not in the fifteen, it's not going to matter if it's in the eighteen or six or sixty-six. Does that make sense? Because it has to be in all three of them. So I would say that out of the three of these, the greatest common factor that I could find is a what? A three. Easy enough? 
So far, so good. Everybody okay with that? Yes or maybe? Yes? Okay, then I would like for you 